Hi everyone. So whenever we are creating any React Native application, it generates lots of files and folders. In this part, we will understand the use and purpose of these files and folders. And that will help us to know the uh, React Native application flow, code flow, configuration, entry point, exit point, everything. All right. So there are three important sections. Firstly, I'll tell you the important files for beginner because there are lots of files. And if you are a beginner, then you can go through with some files and that will help you to understand the code flow and project structure. And you can start with your project. All right. Otherwise, uh, after that, I will explain you the other remaining uh, files and folder also. And at last, we will cover important interview question. So these are the important files. So if you are a beginner and if you want to just quick start with your application, then you can just go through with these files and you are ready to go for beginner. And if you just want to understand React Native uh, application code flow and structure in depth, then you can go with the old files that we will cover in this video also. All right. So firstly, I'll tell you about the package.json, then index.js, app.js or app.jsx. JS means uh, there we are writing code in JavaScript. JSX means we are writing code in the uh, the TypeScript, right? So this is basically not JSX. It should be TSX. Now this is correct. After that, we'll go through with the Webel configuration, configuration file and uh, we will understand three uh, important folders, which is node modules, iOS and Android. And after that, we will go through with the all other remaining files and folder. All right. So now let's start with our project. These are the all files and folder. And let's start with uh, package.json. So as I told you, this is really important. And you can say that if anyhow you lost this file, your project will not gonna work. This is the only file who will just keep the all details of your project, like project name, version, after that commands of your project. Here you can see that the inside the script, we have the all commands of your project. After that dependencies, these are the main libraries and these are the, you can see that development or helping libraries kind of thing, right? So everything is mentioned here. If anyhow you will lose this file, your project will not gonna work uh, uh, then anyhow you have to restore this file and the second thing is index.js so you can say that this is the entry point of javascript in your application it will register your all components with uh, with your application right we know that application in react native application we are not uh, having only javascript code we have other codes also like ios and android that will be in uh, java or in Kotlin also, but we basically write our old code inside the JavaScript only. So what will this file will do? It will register our JavaScript code with your application. And this line will help us to understand app registry. That means we are registering our component to the app. Perfect. After that app.tsx. And from there we are start writing our code. Even you can change the name of this file or you can just put any other tsx or jsx file and you can uh, uh, just uh, uh, add this file to uh, the index.js right but if you are a beginner then you can just start only with this file and uh, that will be the first file from there you can start your uh, react native code so guys now let's talk about babel.config.js so if you are using older system or older browser maybe your system or browser is not supporting ecmascript 2015 plus code that time babel will actually uh, come to the use right it will change the ECMA script 2015 plus code to the backward compatible JavaScript code right so let me just explain you a bit so now let's say you are writing to the ECMA script ECMA script 2015 plus code in your application right but your system don't understand it because this is not up to date right uh, uh, due to the any reason maybe to the system configuration or you can say that you are uh, emulator is older or your browser is not supporting it and what it will do babel will change this code to the some older version of javascript that is compatible with your browser or with your system all right so if uh, you want to add some configuration for that then you can add there cool after that node uh, underscore modules so whenever we are working with any front-end application uh, it could be uh, a react application react native view or angular that time we need lots of external libraries and all these external libraries are uh, downloaded there you can see that there are lots of download uh, downloaded libraries 
and maybe you can ask that uh, till now we did not installed any uh, package or any external library then how they are come there whenever we are installing our application that time also lots of dependencies dev dependencies are getting installed and downloaded inside the node module folder perfect after that, there there are two more important uh, folders for beginners which is android and ios the both are responsible for convert javascript code to android as well as ios code whenever we are building our application all right so these are the important files i hope i covered uh, everything so now let's talk about the other files and folder so now you can see that there is a uh, ts configuration that is typescript configuration so if you want to change uh, maybe some uh, uh, conventions or version of typescript or maybe some rules and protocols then you can just add your configuration there but how we can add this you can ask that question but that is the part of some other video that will be the part of some other video because there we are only discussing the file not configuration and all all right after that we already discussed about package.json package. package hyphen log dot json file see package dot json file will just keep the details of your project but package hyphen log dot json file will keep the uh, details of your internal packages also i'm just uh, explaining you so here you can see that uh, maybe you need a react package or react native package right its version are mentioned there but these package are internally using some other packages right and maybe uh, let's say talk about uh, babel uh, runtime uh, this version of this mentioned there but maybe this uh, babel is actually inter internally using some other packages also right that time the old details are just kept by the package hyphen log dot json i can just show you there so if you will just open any package maybe let's say babel right and inside babel just open the uh, parser and then then you can see that there is a again package.json file and there are again some dependencies dev dependencies and all right so the uh, complete tree hierarchy of uh, dependencies are just uh, uh, mentioned or you can say that details of these packages are uh, added inside the package log.json file all right so now, now let's talk about the metro.config.json file so this will help us to uh refresh in real time of our application so let me i'm i'm just making some changes in the app.js let me show you so this is our emulator and if i'm just making some changes there let's say hello to hi right and i'm saving it just i'm normally saving it i did not refresh this browser this is automatically refreshing so how this will happen metro config file just keeping metro will actually just uh, checking all the time if there are some changing then i have to refresh it automatically right and how this is checking watchman dot uh, watchman config file will actually always checking in the background if is there any changes in our application if there are any changes in application and if there are any changes found then it will instruct to the metro uh, module to just refresh the screen so the both metro and watchman will work parallelly all right so the next thing is gem file actually gem file is basically used inside the ruby and now you can ask like why we are using ruby there in react native project so this will help us to debug our project uh, with the browser right so if uh, you want to change uh, regarding to that debugging or ruby then you can just add the changes there also all right so babel and app.js is already uh, discussed now let's go with the app.json file this will basically keep the basic details of your application like application name uh, display name if they are both similar or maybe you can add some description and other meta tags also if you want right and uh, now the pretty rcc file so uh, see pretty uh, rc file basically uh, just help you to make your code formatting or you can say that application code formatting like uh, when we are writing any code right so if i'm just uh, applying the formatting here you can see that there are some minor changes are there for uh, 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 white spaces or you can say that tabs and all so we can configure all of these things inside this file after that node version so this will tell which version we are uh, currently using for the uh, node git ignore file this is not basically related with the uh, react native this is related to the 
git actually so if you want to ignore something that we don't want to upload uh, on our git server then we can add there right es linter rc uh, basically if you want to add some convention or configuration with the ecma script then you can add there after that there is there is a bundle so inside the bundle whenever we are generating our application build the build will be generated there and uh, underscore underscore tests underscore this will contain all our unit test cases all right so i hope you get just get to know the basic idea about the file and folder structure of react native if you still have any confusion any doubt you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback and if you want to just uh, do some donation then link is given uh, upi number is given in the description box as well as in the first comment section thank you guys